Super Combo! Master Combo! King Combo! Killer Combo! Ultimate Combo! Available for your home in 1995, only on Nintendo Ultra 64! Welcome everyone to another episode of Twisted Gaming TV. Today, we're gonna look at some of the pickups that I mentioned in the last video that I was waiting on in the mail. And then we're going to, uh, well, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what I picked up today. And we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, grading games. Should you grade games or should you not? So let's get started. Let's start off with the pickups. So first off, a couple days ago, I got a Vigilante 8 sealed copy, uh, second offense for the Nintendo 64. It's a sealed copy. Very beautiful. Has all the, the right seals on it. Pretty nice. This was one of my favorite games. This is the second one. I haven't got the first one yet sealed. I'm gonna try to find that. But this was one of my favorite games next to Twisted Metal. It's just like Twisted Metal. It was just done by Activision and a little different, but it's pretty cool. The next one I got yesterday was Micro Machines Turbo 64. Uh, We'll go, if the light's not on these, we'll go over them again at the end of the video. So this one's sealed and it comes with a car right here. Pretty neat. Um, so that's a sealed copy, okay? And then one I've been waiting for for a very long time was, uh, well, it took me a long time to find it, was Killer Instinct Gold sealed copy this is a sealed copy right here look how beautiful that is dude this is pretty pretty near perfect has the h seam or v seam i don't know what the hell the difference is what people talk about yeah killer instinct gold sealed now i got a ki1 sealed also so i needed the killer instinct gold sealed to complete that also have a Killer Instinct Gold uh, completed box and a uh, completed box Killer Instinct for the Game Boy. Um, and then today I drove a uh, six hours round trip in Texas to pick up this Nintendo sign. Now this is from the, the Wii era. That is why it is blue instead of red. You know, we. So, pretty awesome. It's about, I want to say it's a little over two feet. Um, and it also has a dimmer. You click and it makes it dimmer or brighter. Dimmer. Pretty awesome. Uh, I've been wanting a Nintendo Neon for a while. If you've seen all my other videos, I have Nintendo Super Brights, uh, Fiber Optics, uh, Xbox Neon, the PlayStation uh, backlit uh, ones you see above me, Nintendo 64 Fiber, I just don't have them on right now. But I've been wanting a Nintendo Neon, and I, I wanted the blue one over the red Nintendo Neon because there's too much damn red in this fucking room. So I wanted a blue one to kind of, you know, brighten up the place a little bit because, you know, Nintendo is always red and crap. Um, so I got this today. I drove three hours uh, away <clears throat> in Texas from Dallas. Went Dallas to Bryant, Texas, and then drove back in one day. Just three hours there, three hours back, boom. Now, how much did I pay for this? Most people want to know, so I'll tell you. Uh, the guy was asking for $400. I went back at him, you know, yeah, I kind of lowballed a little bit. I went at three at first and then no response. I was like, damn. Uh, so then I went to 350 and 
waited about an hour for a response and they came back at 380 and they wouldn't take anything less than what the hell with it you know i want it somebody else is going to get it and these usually sell between six to seven hundred dollars so getting it at 380 is still the deal buddy still the deal so yeah so that's that let me turn this off so you can see what, what the hell else i'm doing but very good sign to add to the rest of my sign collection now let's talk about uh grading games should you grade games or should you not is it cool or is it stupid? Now I talked to this about about it before. I wasn't really into that, but I've kind of changed my mind for a few reasons. Okay, first off, should you grade games? Yes or no? I would say it just depends what you want. If you buy a sealed game, and say you buy a sealed game for a hundred dollars, okay, and uh, you send it off to get grading, you pay twenty-five to a hundred dollars depending how fast you want it to get back. Um, and you put that game on eBay, you know, I mean, hell, it might sell for $400, you know, and you made like a, you know, $200 profit or something, or even make, sometimes even more. Um, like Mario Kart, you know, there's one on eBay right now going for $1,900. It's the first print uh, Super Mario Kart for Super NES, uh, sealed and everything, and it's, it's gorgeous, okay? Well, it's almost going for two grand. It's still got 22 hours left. So I know exactly what somebody's doing. They're gonna buy that, they're gonna grade it. It's probably gonna get a 90 or above, and then they'll probably put it back on eBay for five or $6,000, okay? I mean, but to my point, uh, I guess it's good if you wanna kinda of make some profit, because people are stupid and do that, you know? They, they will buy graded games, uh, you know, when they could've just bought the sealed one if they could find it for much cheaper and then grade it. And, anywho. My point I'm getting at, okay, I have a few graded games. I've said this before um, because I got them real cheap on eBay because they're stupid games, okay? Like this, like this game right here. This, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this shit. Walali Country Club Golf for Nintendo 64, okay? Well, it was graded and it got a 85, okay? 85. You know, I bought this crap for like 30 bucks, you know? I bought it for the game, I didn't really care about that, but it was a cool case, you know? Something to display. You know, it's just only, it's only money, honey. And I'm a big Call of Duty fan, so, you know, I've got a Black Ops 3, and I got this cheap too, and it's 85 plus, you know? I mean, why not, right? Well, my point is, is, I want to get a couple of great uh, games graded and it's not to resell on eBay because I don't care about money, okay? I spend so much money all the time, you know, I don't care to make $200, $300, it's, it's chump change, okay? Now, what I'm trying to do is uh, I want a nice sealed and protection of the game. That's why I'm doing it. And I only want to do a few games. Like, I was, I was going to do the, the sealed micro machines for shits and giggles. I was going to do the Vigilante 8 for shits and giggles. Now, my, my favorite game, and everybody knows this if you follow the channel, is Killer Instinct. I got a Killer Instinct arcade machines. I mean, I got Killer Instinct posters that are super rare. I got a, a plastic Killer Instinct poster that was from Rare, uh, rare Wear Studios or Rare Limited, whatever the hell you want to call them now, when they were with Nintendo. So those are super rare items. It's my favorite game. Now, I have amazing uh, condition sealed copy of Killer Instinct 1 and amazing uh, sealed copy of KI Gold. So I do want to get those graded just to see what they'll get, you know? I mean, I want to keep them anyways. I'm not going to go on eBay and sell them for $1,000, you know, and try to make a profit on my favorite game. I'd rather keep the damn thing, okay? But uh, I think grading is good to a point you know if you want to try to make money and risk it or whatever i mean you know go ahead but i mean yeah that's kind of stupid but if you want to get a game graded that you actually like or something you know and just display it it's pretty awesome got you know nice casing to protect it and it's just kind of like a showpiece you know that's what i want to do with the killers now 
Okay, now we're gonna talk about uh, what company to go to. Okay, there's VGA that's been a while, around for a while, and then there's a new company called, I guess you pronounce it WADA, okay, W-A-T-A. -A. Now, I've seen cases from both. I only got VGA cases because I bought these on eBay. I don't have no WADA cases, but you can search them on the internet if you like. But I've, I've seen them both in person, and I will say that if you're gonna pick one, I would go with WADA. The reason why, because I think their cases are better. These, you know, look like, you know, you know, they're just kind of glued or some type, you know, together, you know, and they're not that amazing like the WADA ones. The WADA ones, their cases, I mean, don't even look like they're glued together. I mean, I can't really explain how they're put together, but I mean, it looks really amazing. And second, you know, VGA, you know, they're kind of boring. If you look at their grading deal, you see the stupid piece of paper, you know, with, with whatever it is, you know, and, and nothing on the back. You know, have a nice day, okay? Now, WADA, I think, gets more into their grading, okay? The reason why I say that is because if you look at the, the top of theirs, and I'll post an example in the video while I'm talking. If you look at the top of theirs, they got two options or three options of different labels. You have a label that'll be like straight flat across, or you'll have this one that, that's like a 3D one that on the back, it, there's one and then it wraps around on the sides. But what I like about theirs is they have a dang, I don't know what you call those weird looking barcodes, but you scan it with your phone and it'll actually have all the info of your grading and when it was graded and all the details about it. VGA don't have jack shit about that, okay? And plus VGA, I think they just look at the game and like, okay, 85 or, you know, 70 or whatever, you know, la, 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 la. Well, WADA actually goes a step further. They grade things individually. Like if you got a sealed copy, they'll grade the box, they'll grade uh, the uh, shrink wrap on it, and a couple other things, and then you'll get the, and on the back, it'll say like shrink wrap uh, a five, or uh, the box got a nine, and then you'll see the overall at the bottom. VGA don't have that. They just look at the thing and just grade it by visual. Well, WADA looks at the uh, everything else, which is pretty dang neat. Um, so both companies, I think they charge the same. It's between twenty-five to hundred dollars. Like twenty-five dollars, you'll wait. You know, I think sixty to eighty days to get it back to you. And if you spend a hundred dollars, hell, you can get it back in like five days or something. Anywho. Uh, a lot of people don't like the grading. They think it's stupid. Um, I did before until I really thought about it. Like if you have some really amazing games that you want to protect and you kind of want to display, I think the grading thing is pretty neat. And then you could see, hey, I got a Killer Instinct that's a nine, that made a, a nine or whatever from WADA or whatever company you want to uh, get it done. Uh, and plus, you know, people say, well, you games are made to open, you, you, you can't play it like that. Well then buy a damn copy, another copy. You can get a damn Killer Instinct Gold, the cartridge for Nintendo 64 on eBay for $10. Okay, so play that on Nintendo 64, and then your uh, beautiful copy, uh, have it graded, or you can just put it in a case, you know, uh, like, now this is from VGA. Now what I don't think you can buy the cases by themselves. So you'd have to go to VGA for that, but if you don't want to get it graded and you just want a nice case, you can get one of these for about $16. This is Mario Kart. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty neat, you know? Uh, so anyways, so I guess that's the end of today's video. Today's Saturday. Sorry, I didn't uh, make a video last night. I had a lot going on, so you know, if I don't make a video Friday, 
you know that video is dropping Saturday, okay? But anyways, uh, let me show you a couple better shots. Okay, so here's the KI Gold. Pretty nice. Sealed. July 8. Sealed. Damn thing ain't focusing, is it? Yeah. Micro Machines. Micro Machines Turbo. Pretty nice. And like I said, the VGA casings. If you can see that. But anyways, I'll post up the uh, what the casings look like at WADA. But uh, yeah, just wanted to show you that. And then get a close up of the Tindo Neon with it off. Pretty nice. And it also has the, you know, the all the, the stickers and stuff on the back Nintendo stickers and everything uh -huh. so anyways hope you enjoyed the video till next video see you later